Beautiful peanut, okay? Beautiful penis. I've been told this machine's frozen up. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It froze right up to the ice curve. See the shape of it. And there's little icicles in there as well. So I guess the back behind the lever is also full of ice. That's pretty cool. So why did it freeze up like that? Someone was here yesterday, a couple days ago or something like that. They couldn't find anything wrong with it, that's what they said. Long harvest. I guess the rest of that stuff don't matter. Long harvest, 999 times. Yeah, I'll say it hasn't been harvested. I wonder why it's still been making ice. I guess I should try to harvest. That's temperature sensors while it's sitting here off. And now I'll turn it on. That kind of looks like the harvest valve is open. You see how T3 is going up? Right away. Oh, that's not good. I wonder if that's gonna make it in there. Now, how come that harvest is just fine? Apparently, even though it froze up like this, pretty big piece of ice. Now all the ice is gone. You have a look at the evaporator. It looks perfectly good. It actually looks like a new machine. And here's the ice probe. Really close to the evaporator there. It's not broken. Water distributor is screwed in. I've got my Manitowoc gap gauge here. Put it up next to this. Look at that. That's way off. So I'm going to need to gap that. This is a flashlight comes attached to a Manitowoc pocket knife. The flashlight end, right here, is exactly the right size for the gap on an ice machine, and the hex side over here is exactly the right size if you want to thicken the ice up a little bit. This one's gapped to the flashlight end, see? It doesn't touch there, but if I flip it around, it touches here. That's how I got that. Now I've got the water curtain back on and it's gonna start its little ice making process. And I'm just gonna go back and look at um, just the temp sensors. That's how you get to that screen. That's all I really care about. I'm gonna watch that for a little bit. Here's the beginning of freeze. We got discharge line temperature going up. We got the evaporator inlet and outlet going down. The liquid line's going up slightly. So that looks good. A few minutes in here, we got really low evaporator temperatures. The discharge line is not quite hot yet. Now if I reach up here and I feel it's just beginning to form the first little film of ice. We'll give it a little longer. Now it's about halfway done making ice. And these are the numbers. The discharge line temp is almost there. And the evaporator is really cold. Looks perfectly even. Everything in here is so clean, I thought it was pretty new. But then I looked at this panel. Unless they stuck an old panel on a new machine, this can't possibly be new. I heard the first cracking sound. That's definitely not going to trigger harvest because the mic's not listening for that. 
Oh, we got a five degree evaporator, man. That's crazy cold. This is either the most efficient ice machine ever, or there's not perfect connection between the coil and the plate. But that ice production looks perfectly even. So. Doesn't really seem like it's anything wrong with this. It's just running really good. It'll be harvesting soon. It's got the cells almost completely closed and it's starting to crack. So. I'll sit here recording it until it harvests. There's harvest. This charge line was 149 on the first batch wise. That seems pretty good. For a system that started with no heat in it. It's gonna harvest pretty quick. Why is T3 going back down? It's in harvest. Right now, it's in harvest. But look. That harvest valve closed back. It was open, but now it's closed. It hasn't harvested the ice yet. Well, that'll explain it then. Someone replaced the ice probe. This meter is reading the voltage out of the board to the harvest solenoid valves. And this meter is reading the current through the harvest solenoid valves. There are two valves. That's the harvest valve. And that one over there is the harvest pressure regulator. This one. That's the liquid line valve. It's parallel to the contactor coil. This valve is clearly energized. So is this one and this one, and they don't pull enough current to register on this meter. I'll probably repeat this until I catch it acting up again and we'll find out if it's still putting out voltage to the harvest valves when it happens. Well, it's been running for a little while, so... Time for another manual harvest. Let's see how long it takes. I'm just caught it hesitating. This round, this is the third or fourth time I've run it through the harvest. And that wasn't rising. It was hissing real loud and I heard it what sounded like something blew through. Then T3 started to rise. And that voltage right there never fluctuated. It works some of the time, but I'm satisfied that that valve's messing up from what I've managed to record. Now it's time to replace the harvest valve on this ice machine. So this is a four-point recovery. It means I got this set of gauges here hooked to the regular service ports, and then there's this set of gauges hooked to the receiver service valve and the line set, four points. These two manifolds come together to this manifold, which goes to the recovery machine. And they're all fully open, just letting the refrigerant go wherever it wants. Everything's been bled.
this recovery machine is a piece of junk and it's going to take a while. We'll come back to it when it's done. So there's nitrogen in it now, just a few PSI. I went to bed at every port, so positive pressure. So I'm up on top of the machine now, and this is the harvest valve. And I've got it loose as I can get it. I gotta unbraze it from that spot. I'm up inside the ceiling so I can access this thing, and I pulled this up just as much as it'll go to make it a little easier to reach. Maybe I can record the process of changing it now. stainless steel and they're plated with copper on the inside. See? Put a little pressure on it and see. Or we could do a Houston, Texas pressure test. 
and pressure test complete. All right. But now I got positive pressure on all these gauges. I'm gonna unhook from the you know ports three and four. All right. So now I've got pressure. You know, put into the high side as much as I can. I closed it off. We're gonna turn her on, see what it'll do. All right, so we're in freeze now. So I'm gonna let her pump the refrigerant in as fast as she wants. And uh, yeah, most of the refrigerant's in there. You know what time it is. let that pump that in and that'll have the whole charge put back except whatever we lost harvest time let's see if this new harvest valve's working heck yeah it's working so we should be all set now that ought to be okay good enough HVAC 